What's up, y'all? Um, that's all. I had some on my mind. People been calling me, asking me a lot of questions, so I decided to talk about some things. Uh, comedy's gone through a lot of things. We've lost a lot of greats recently in the last couple of days to months to years. Um, seems like comedy's under attack. Some people who are doing comedy right now um, seem to be under attack. Um, I don't know. You know, it's a game I love a lot. That's why I'm talking about it. You know, I live and die for this thing right here we call comedy. Writing it, uh, starring in it, uh, doing stand-up comedy, just even my friends being funny around them. Um, and I've noticed that uh, it's been looked at differently now, you know, and it's been looked at differently recently. That's what the cancel culture has been about. Um, this is more of a shout out uh, to one particular person, but a lot of comics in, in general. Um, my com my brother in comedy, Ari Spears, and I know you know he's going through something. He's going through a lot right now. Um, I I was gonna have him on my podcast, and I'm quite sure we're gonna delay that, which is fine with that, man. He's his mental health is more important than being on my podcast right now. Um, but I think he's I think he's he's I think he's one he's getting to understand the times that we are in right now. That you can't really say what you want to say like you normally did back in the days. Times have changed. You know, people have grown. People don't accept certain things. Even people from back then don't accept stuff now. Um, and, you know, Aries, I've known Aries for years, man. He's always been that dude that y'all I mean, see that shit talking. I'm going to stand on my flag and this is what I'm going to talk about. And damn y'all and help y'all. And he liked controversial, controversy. Um, but I just don't think he realized, you know, after years and years and years, that's going to catch up with you. And it's lately, it has caught up with him. He's a very daring comic, uh, edgy, goes to the edge, and obviously, as we've seen, go over the edge. <laughs> um, um, and something that's not being accepted right now. It's not being accepted. Um, there's things that people would say. Remember, Eddie Murphy said the F-bomb in his delirious, when he had the red outfit, the F-bomb a couple of times. And, you know, today he would get killed for that. Thank God people aren't going back and doing that to him, you know. Back then it was accepted, you know. Unfortunately, some people think it should have never been accepted, but it was. Um, and comedy is always supposed to be putting a smile on your face or making you think. It's not supposed to anger you. And, you know, Aries likes to be in that situation where he wants to be funny, but he's willing to anger you to be funny and upset you to be funny. Um, He's, he's really one of the throwback comics, you know, that back then didn't give two shits about nothing and pushed the envelope so far. But today, it ain't the same. And um, now it's catching up to him. I mean, but he has to also take responsibility for some of the stuff he's put out. And I think he's realizing it now that all that shits and giggles and uh -huh -huh and talking about people to the, to, to the point where it seemed like it was mean and not funny. And that's the, that's the fine line, you know, trying to be funny but without being mean. And sometimes we cross over it wrong and try to come back. Well, if you keep doing that too many times, people are not going to let you come back over if you cross over. Example, you know, with the Lizzo thing. Um, it's a different time. You know, her crew and her group and, you know, the Internet time is now. And if you talk about somebody and they like that person a lot and they want to come back to, you know, to haunt you, they're going to look and find, and as they did, old videos and put you out there and it is what it is. And if you're not likable, people don't like you a lot. You can really lose out, you know. Some people can get over it, but if you put out so much energy that people aren't really happy with you and happy with your situation, you might have a small niche group that likes you and supports you. That's true. But nowadays, you know, you, you know, if someone wants to bring you down, they get on social media. It's on. I mean, that stuff passes, you know, spreads quickly. When we were coming up back in the '80s and '90s, you know, you could do a joke, and if no one saw it in, in a club or whatever, just people like, "Oh man, you heard him say that." That was it from the, from the club. Now stuff goes global. It's, it's online. It's worldwide. So you got to be more careful what you say and do. Do we always, as comics, always make the say, right move? No. But if you put too much in the bank of negativity, and people feel a certain way about you. It's going to come a time where they're like, we don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear apologies anymore. We don't want to hear sympathies. And you got to, you know, <laughs> you got you to lie on that. Uh, lie on, you know, like I said, lie on that hill, man. That's what, you, what it is. I would tell my brother, if it was me, bro, I know you don't like being hated. You may say it. Everyone may say, well, man, I don't care what people think of me. That's bullshit. Let me tell you right now as a comic, people like to be liked. You don't like to be not liked. What, what, what's the victory in being not liked? What's really the victory in being not liked? Aren't we in the business of being liked and putting smiles on people's faces? 
It ain't about not being liked. Sure, you want to say, I want to get to do what I do, and if you don't like it, so what? But at the same time, how far will you push it for the sake of so what? And I was him, man. I don't know, Aries. I know you're watching this. Brother, 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 brother. I think a sincere, if you are in that point, a sincere apology video of what you've said and done recently. Or maybe making a mistake. Saying, you know, for those you hurt, you apologize. Because you did hurt some people. And some people are just going to be angry with you no matter what. But you can't worry about that. You can't worry about people you can't change. You got to go to the people's hearts who you can change and say, man, look, you know, be sincere. Be very sincere. And be, be sincere. If you're not sincere, don't, don't do it. But be sincere. You know, sincerely apologize for what you have done that has hurt people. If you know in your heart, that's not what, that wasn't your intention to hurt. Because I know it wasn't your intention to hurt people. Your intention was to be funny, but it didn't come funny. It didn't come off funny. And people feel like a lot of times you don't come off as funny. And then after that, man, I'd say, I don't know, man, maybe take a hiatus for six months offline or something like that. Maybe go see some see some help. Maybe somebody can explain to you better than this little video I'm doing of, you know, what you did is not correct 100%, you know, constantly. You know, making the people not feel good through your comedy is not the thing. People want to people have joy. They turn a comedian to, you know, get the stress off of life, not to be teased and talked about. Especially when it's visceral, when it feels visceral and not just funny. We all can take a little joke here and there. You know I mean, jokes I heard about being light-skinned and light -skinned, blah, blah, blah. it's okay. But people just didn't say, I hate you. I hate you, P. You know, that was the case or you blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, a shit, shit, shit emoji might be funny to some people, but the person that was talked about might not feel it was, it was too funny. It was all done on, 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 on a big screen, like people call you, you know, raccoon and your eyes and all that, just waiting shit. I mean, if you're at a point where you just say that don't bother me, I don't care about that anymore. That don't bother me at all. Well, God bless you, brother, because it would bother me if somebody kept talking about me like that. And if it does bother you in your soul, you know how that makes you feel, because you're going through some rough times. Now you're talking to your inner side, inner, inner soul right now. You talking to your inner soul. All that old wipe it off. It ain't no big deal. Wipe it off. You're going to be like, no, sir. No, sir. They're going to be no wiping off. They coming. They coming hard. And you got to re really, really reevaluate re re your career, how you come off, the decisions you make, the things you say. Really? I don't know. You old school. Back then we just, it ain't old school now, dude. We in 2022. Things have changed drastically. Don't mean you gotta be a punk and a sucker and can't say what you want to say. But you know what? You're gonna have to re re you're gonna have to reap the uh, repercussions of saying what you want to say. And if you want to stand up there and you cool with that, you don't care. Which I know it ain't true because don't nobody want to lose their career over some fucking jokes or videos and so forth or some things that people say. Don't nobody want to lose their career. You work too hard, brother. You've been in this for thirty some years, homie. You mean about to lose it? You want to lose it? Be blackballed? That what you want? And one thing about black folks that I'm so happy for, we forgive. You might be pissed off, might take a second to forgive, but we forgive. We're some of the most forgiving people. But we got to see that you really mean it when you apologize or show your actions that you're really sincere about what you did and think, to make, think it was not something well to do or a mistake or whatever. But a sincere apology can get you a long way with some black folks. And I said the word sincere, and I just you open your mouth and let some words come out. So for me and you, brother, as a comedian, man, I don't like to see this happen to you, but you know, you brought this shit to yourself on yourself. Think about it, homie. Think about it. Spend some time with somebody beside your little circle. Because if they, if they ain't telling you that the fuck what you did was... It, 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 well, you, they ain't going to tell you. You see your career, nigga. You see what's happening. You ain't said you thought you was blackballed. So, reach out to somebody, man, that has a keen sense of what's happening in this business and what to say and what not to do and how to grow. And you can still be funny and edgy. Trust me, you still can be funny and edgy. Just don't be edgy without being funny. All right, brother, man. I hope the best for you, man. Like I said, I'll catch you on the upside, downside. You know that my, my comedy hype, uh, not comedy hype, man, comedy hype. <laughs> but my PS panic room is always open for a sit down. We'll, holler, holler, we'll laugh, man. I'm here to get flowers, and but also understanding what people go through. So you want to holler me, holler me right now. Get your stuff together when you're ready. We'll talk. If never, it's all right, brother. This is meant for you, man. All right? Out.